This is Matt for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. <coughs> down at Ben Davison's gym with Barry Smith. Bazza. How are you? Nice to meet you. How's things? <laughs> got, <laughs> got Billy Drew in the background Billy pissing Joe, about. Billy Joe started yeah. again. <laughs> um, yeah, talk to me. Oh, so, fucking hell. <laughs> what you've done? Jesus. Forgetting all that. We'll start, we'll start with Billy. He's back in the gym doing a bit of work. How pleased are you to see him back doing a bit and getting back to it? Well, yeah, look, he's down there naked. <laughs> look, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, put some clothes on, Bill. <laughs> uh, yeah, go cool. say, say that again. <laughs> How pleased you to see him back down here in the gym after, obviously, a long time out of the ring and, obviously, the big fight he had with Canola. Yeah. Yeah, he's over the moon to be back in the gym now. Listen, it's great to have been in the gym, you know. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, it's good to have him back in the gym, you know. It's good band, it's good, you know. It's good to have around the boys, as you can see. Looking forward to his ring return. <laughs> Yeah, we can't wait. <laughs> we are looking forward to it, yeah. Um, you're working with a lot of fighters. Um, one I interviewed earlier, Jamie TKV, exciting young heavyweight. Yeah. Sorry, Matt Ali Pale, looks destructive. Very quick for, and mobile for someone so big. How excited are you at the sort of journey that he's going to be on? Got a good backstory as well. Yeah, he's got a great backstory. Um, yeah, listen, we are, we, we are excited about it. We know this, this to get him moving, you know. Um, people are starting to talk about him there. Yeah. yeah, so he can fight. He's got everything. He's got everything you need in a fighter. Yeah. He's got all the attributes you need as a fighter. Yeah. He's my favourite prospect. Billy Joe said it as his favourite prospect, and Lads, you can see good why. Mate, see how built? Yeah, you can see why. You know, everyone really likes him. You know, in the gym. So yeah. it's, it's going to be an exciting. It's going to be a very, very exciting journey with Jamie TKV. Considering where he is at the minute, he's only a few fights in, but he's had an extensive amateur background. He told me he had 72 amateur yes. fights. He's sparred with the likes of Fabio Wardley, Daniel Dubois, he's done a lot of rounds with. Talk to me about what, where you think he's at right now, only after a few fights. Can he be fast-tracked? Yes, he can. Yes, he can be fast-tracked. Um, you know, we've had these conversations like, it ain't worth him fighting journeyman. You know, He's 29, I'll, I think, isn't he? Well. 28. 28. And I would like to have him, like, you know, sort of like with undefeated like prospects coming through. That's the sort of like we want to do because we believe in him that he can do this. There's no point putting him against a journeyman here, journeyman there. Yeah. It's no point, you know. We just want to move him mm -hmm. and keep him going because we believe we can do something. Um, we've seen recently, I think it was Steve Robinson. Um, He's just come off a good victory, obviously. Would you, he be the type of character you'd want to stick him in with? If they take it, we'll have it. But will they take it? I don't know. Yeah, I think Jamie beat him, but he's an amateur as well, I think, yeah. So, um, yeah, listen, it's a fight for both of them. Listen, they're all fighters, they're all warriors. And I mean, if we'll take it in a heartbeat, but, you know, obviously they've got to do their own journey where they want to go, you know what I'm saying? So they've got to look out for themselves. So no, we respect that. So we'll have to see what happens, what, yeah. But they're, they're the sort of fights we are looking for. Yeah. Exciting times for him. Um, talk to me quickly about Lee Wood and finally had his announcement with Maurizio Lara. Um, that's a firecracker. And people look at it, does it say a lot about Lee Wood, the fact he's taking that fight? Because people saying, look, Maurizio's a good name, but he's not bringing a belt into the fight. So fair play to Lee for going for that. Listen, Lee Wood is a world champion. Yeah. You know, Lee Wood don't want these fights. Lee Wood wants fights. Mm -hmm. He's a warrior, you know. He wants to make money. He wants to make legacy. You know, he wants to... They have that aura around him, like what Cole Fox has got where he lives. He wants that. Yeah. He wants. He wants that platform. He wants to go there. He wants to fight these best fighters. He just said, "There's no point me fighting him. Him, yeah. I want the best fighters out there, and that's what he wants." You know, you see his last performance against Michael Conlon. You know, Phew. they're the fights he was wants to be in. Yeah. You ask him about these fights, they're the fights he wants to be in. He wants as well, I was speaking to him, he wants that city ground fight. He said Eddie and I promised it him, but obviously with everything that had gone on where he didn't know if he had to fight Santa Cruz, um, it took ages as well for the WBA to elevate him. Why did it take so long? It's just been a mess. We don't even know what's gone on. It's just been a mess. We're fighting him, we're fighting this one, fighting that. Everything just all goes upside down. I don't know what's gone on. But the city ground is something Lee Wood wants. That's his dream. Absolutely. Yeah, that is his absolute dream. And Eddie, I was there when Eddie said he would deliver that. Yeah. So... Come on, Eddie, let's deliver that city ground for Lee Wood. You heard it, you heard it. A um, couple of other fighters in the gym. Um, one who spoke to earlier, Royston Barney. 
Um, how, how are you seeing his progression, someone who's only 19 years of age, but he's already had two very good performances on big stages as well? He's a young kid coming through, you know, um, he's got all the attributes now to, be, to go and do something really special in the game, you know. He's dedicated, he's hungry, you know, he can fight, he's a young man, you know. He's with Frank Warren, he's one of the best, he knows how to nurse a fight. Yep. A fighter, sorry, but um, another exciting journey we're going to be on. A really good one as well, I believe. Talk to me about the other fighters that you are particularly hands on with the gym. I've witnessed it today. Um, talk to me about them fighters and what you sort of expecting for them for 2023. Well, when, I, when, I was, when I was training, um, Shabazz, uh, yeah. Shabazz Masood, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're excited. Great performance against Bates, oh, yeah. aren't we? We're excited about Shabazz now to go and get some big fights in under, under his belt, you know, yeah. and go win some more belts, which we believe, well, which we know he's going to do. Ran yeah. far with the WBA as well. Yeah, this is it. So he's, he's on the move, he is. Yeah. So, yeah, we want to see him in another big fight, you know. How far off for challenging the big boys? He says another couple of years, which I thought quite modest, considering I think current champions only had 11 fights. Obviously, they have different backgrounds, but, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, a couple of years, a year maybe, yeah. You know, he's got the ability to do it now. Yeah. You know, but a little bit more ring time, a little bit more experience. Yeah, maybe a year or so, yeah. Chris Congo, he's got his British title fight against Echo Esselman yes. coming up. What a cracking fight and a fight that can put him well and truly back to the forefront of people's minds. He had a big build-up a few years ago. I think he had a global title at the that's time. Right, right. Remember, I think he got beat by Mickinson in Gibraltar. But right, he's, yeah. he's come back now and he's down here sort of honing in on his skills with you, Lee and Ben. Yeah. How impressed have you been with Chris's dedication and what are we expecting against Echo? Uh, Chris is what I call a true professional to the sport. You know, lives the life to the T. You know, um, yeah, I'm really, 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 really happy for Chris. This has all come alight, you know. You know, Boxer, Sky Sports have made this happen for him, you know. Uh, I'm really happy for him, you know, as coaches, us. Us, us three coaches, me, Ben and Lee Wiley, we're really happy and pleased, you know. Um, I think it's a perfect fight for him. Mm -hmm. I really do believe it's a perfect fight for him. You know, he can make Chris look really good on the night, which we all know how good Chris really is. Yeah. So hopefully Chris will come back with them belts, you know, and well, I believe he will come back with them belts, yes, definitely. Chris over the years always gets linked with uh, either Connor, Ben or Florian, Marco and things like that. Do you think um, Chris is ready for that sort of fight, depending on obviously, we're not looking it's past Echo? Really Chris, Connor Ben's gone, he's on another level, he's on another platform. You know, Flora Marco would have been a good fight for him, you know. I think Chris called him out a few times. Look, let's let's do it, he said, but they I don't I don't think they wanted it, you know. So mm -hmm. obviously they're doing their own journey. So but Chris wanted to Chris the fights Chris is looking for. And obviously he's got this big opportunity now what's come along. Yeah. yeah so hopefully Chris wins this, then hopefully Flora Marco can step up to the plate, you know, and um get it on. Yeah, cause yeah, Chris has always been at that point where he said, look, I'll definitely fight him. And we know that Marco's got that big following. Um, it'd make for a huge fight, though. When you think of the fans and the support that Florian's got, and obviously we've got Chris's exposure now on Sky Sports as well, that's a, that's a great fight. Listen, Chris will fight him. He will fight anyone. Mm -hmm. He will fight anyone, because Chris is a, he's a true warrior. Yeah. yeah, He will get in there and he will fight Florence Marco all day long. He'll never go to Albania and fight him. Chris. When he mentioned that to me, I was like, whoa, I ain't going to know Albania. Because <laughs> I, cause I, I don't know the outcome of the fight. Yeah, I thought, I ain't going to know Albania. I, I want to get home alive. Yeah, So, um, yeah, Chris, Chris will go. He will go. Chris will jump on the plane. We don't think twice about it. He's fearless. Yeah. And I think that scares a lot of guys in the division, you know what I mean? Because Chris is really fierce. Chris goes, this will be Chris's words. Let's go, bro. Let's do it. They're Chris's words. Yeah. yeah? And nothing else comes out. Let's do it. We're fighters. Well, at some point, there'll be, people won't be able to sort of avoid him if he keeps putting on performances, winning and collecting belts on one way anyway. Well, first of all, we have to get through this guy, Echo, first, yeah? Yeah, great. Fun. Yeah. But, you know, it ain't all end of lost all. That if, but we will get through this fight. Mm -hmm. But... If he gets through this, Chris, you know, the doors are just going to swing open for him. Yeah. yeah. And will people step up to the plate? I don't know, in domestic level. Perhaps Chris might have to move on to European level after this. Who knows? Quite possibly. Um, 
any other fighters that we've not mentioned? I'm sure there is. I'm head's a bit fried. <laughs> <laughs> well, who, who are the two noises, boys, in the gym this morning? Oh, McCormack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Luke and Pat. I mean, yeah, I spoke to them a few times. Uh, great fun, super talented kids. Ooh. Um Pat had a bit of a frustrating one last time. I think the guy was yeah. more interested in Random jogging way. around the whole ring. But way, you know, you know, when someone don't come to fight, they won't engage. It's hard, you know what I mean? It's yeah. hard. They won't open up. Every time he got, he just smother Chris. He did, oh, sorry, he smothered Pat round the waist. It was just, you know, it was it was just a nightmare to like, say. So, you know, you know when people fight, they open up. They leave openings. Yeah. He just wouldn't leave nothing there. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it's, it's it's all a learning curve for Pat on his journey, you know. Yeah. So obviously we get the right opponent next time and Pat just moves on. And I mean, just keeps going strength to strength. What are we expecting from him? Obviously, signed with, signed with Eddie. I had no idea over the moon to get his signature. Are we expecting world titles? 100%. 100%. 100%. You know, he's, he's an Olympic silver medalist. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we expect the big things from him. Massive things. World title, easy. Oh, you've seen him train, you've been there, you've been around, you've seen how good he is. Yeah, yeah. And that, but there's another thing, the McCormacks are so dedicated to this sport, it's unbelievable. I don't think they don't get no credit for it, how hard they train in the gym. Yeah. They're here 24-7, they work their bollocks off in the gym. Yeah. How good is that for you as a trainer, someone who's keeping an eye on that you don't have to maybe go, come on, like get your ass into gear, they, they, they're, just, they're just ready and waiting to go? You don't have to at them because they're true pros. Yeah, you know, they have their crack, they have their laugh after yeah. before you see what they're like, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're nutty, but they're great kids, you know, you have to love them. They bring a great atmosphere in the gym as well. Yeah, there is, I have to say. Does that, how much does that help? Because obviously I've sat out there for a good couple of hours now, drabbing who I can for interviews. Everyone's having the crack. Um, we say Billy Joe's come back. Um, but everyone's, 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 having, everyone's having the crack. It must make your life a bit easier. It's enjoyable to come here, you know, to be around the boys, coming into the gym, you know. You know, like having, having a long drive here from where I lived, the east end of London, coming into Harlow. As soon as I walk in there, yeah. you're like, boom. You're yeah. laughing your bollocks off straight away. It's just funny. Everything is is great. But when we get down to the work, we get down to the work. Yeah. But after, we, just, we all sit around the ring and just bounce off each other and have a laugh down there. It's great fun. Yeah, it's really, I'm really happy to be here. Absolutely. Well, I think the next time we'll catch up will be Nottingham. You'll be down for yeah, Lee Lee's, Lee Wood's fight. Um, we'll catch up again. Are you at Wembley for Jamie TKV? I'm not sure I've been put on that one. I don't think that schedule's actually been allocated to anyone yet, but if I am, we'll catch up there. Either, either or, we'll see each I'll other and have a further. We will do. All right. See you in Nottingham. Baz, I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. God bless you.